What is up, awesome people? And welcome back to my Let's Play Pokemon trading card game online for player versus player. Alrighty, so... I don't really know what to say to start this episode off except for it's time to battle someone. I'm getting a hell of a lot of requests to do this, so it looks like I'm going to be doing it. So we want standard. Um, which deck should I use? So far you've seen my fire deck and my dark deck. Yes, I do have... Well, you've seen my Blazing Test deck. I need to get rid of that because I don't want it anymore. You've, there's two other decks you have not seen. I don't want to use them just yet because I want to go back and use my old decks. Get a few more plays out of them and so you can see how the deck works in various situations and all that. Uh, we did get a really good use out of my Fire deck in the last player versus player, which was awesome. Um... It's about time I actually got to show you guys how that actually works, and, well, not even, well, it was Poetry in Motion seeing my Chandelure work. Um, just a shame you didn't get to see my Victini EX work. But those two and like, working at the same time is just awesome. So, I'm actually going to use my Darkness deck, because I did modify it today, just before recording this episode. I slightly modified the Pokemon I had, added two new cards to it. Well, not two new cards, two cards of the same type, I should really say. So usually I find a match pretty quickly these days, so let's see how quickly it goes if it takes too long, which I'm hoping it doesn't. I will probably catch you guys when I do find an opponent. See you in a little bit. Alrighty, so we've got a match up against B Boy V. Okay, so my opponent's going to be flipping the coin to start this match, so he's probably gone for a heads. He's flipped the tails. Oh, he actually went for tails. That's very interesting. Most people go for heads. So he's decided to start this match off, and unfortunately I've got to do a mulligan because I've got no basics in my hand, which kind of sucks because he can see what I've got. So I've only got one basic to start this match off, and it's a full art Evangel EX. Go figure, it's a new card that I actually added to this deck. So that's actually a pretty decent start on my part. So he has, what is he leading with? Come on, show me. Okay, he's got a fire deck and he's active. It's Torchic with no benched Pokemon. That's very interesting indeed. So hopefully he drew a basic and can play it on his bench. Otherwise, this may be a pretty quick match. So Torchic has 60 health. It's got Peck and Live Coal. He needs one energy card, which he does play from his hand straight onto his bench. Torchic to be able to use Peck. I'm hoping this isn't a theme deck. I'll be very disappointed. Alright, so he's going to use Bianca. So he's going to draw one card and play a Snivy from his hand to his bench. So it's a multi... Um, colour deck with um, fire and grass. So from my hand I'm going to play Rocky Helmet and a Darkness Energy onto my Ivantal. I'm then going to throw it up with a Sharon card from my hand. I'm going to then play Shadow Circle, the Stadium card which allows all Pokemon with a Darkness Energy attached to them to have no weakness. So I've just got rid of the Electric Weakness on my Ivantal, even though it's not going to matter too much. And I'm, that's going to be my turn because I can't play my Dark Ball. I need another energy card. He plays another Fire Energy onto his active Torchic and he can go straight for Life Call, dealing 20 damage to my Yvantal. Alright, so unfortunately, well, unfortunately for him, he's going to get hurt by my Rocky Helmet attached to my Yvantal, which is going to deal 20 damage to his Torchic. Alright, so I'm going to draw a Dark Patch and attach a Darkness Energy to my active Ivantal. I am then going to play... Hmm, I could play N, but I'm not too sure how dodgy his hand is. I'd rather him have a dodgy hand than a good hand. Then again, I'm in a good position, so I'm going to play N, which allows me to reshuffle my hand into my deck. Same with him, and draw as many cards as we do prize cards. I'm going to play Chansey onto my bench. I'm then going to follow up with a Pokeball card. Flip, I get a head, so that's awesome. And what am I going to play? Do I have Blissey? I do. I could play Blissey, or I could be a bitch and put another Evantal EX onto my bench. It's very tempting to go another EX, but I'm not going to. I don't want him to know just yet I've got another EX, because he probably will concede, which is really annoying. 
So I'm going to play my Chansey. Well, I'm going to put Rocky Helmet onto Chansey just in case something goes wrong. And then play Evil Ball and does 100 damage due to the extra added effect of Evil Ball, which is, um, I think it's an extra 10 for each energy card from my card and the opposing Pokemon. So his only card is Snivy. He's going to play Water Energy onto his Snivy, but he needs a Grass Energy to be able to use Vine Whip, which he cannot use, and play a Yama from his hand to his bench. Alright, I'm almost expecting him to concede. He's going to play Colorous, shuffle your head into your deck and draw a number of cards equal to the number of your bench Pokemon. He's only going to draw two because he's got two Pokemon on the field. I would have thought one reading that. So he just shortened the number of cards in his hand. I'm not 100% sure why. He must have had a really bad hand to cause that mulligan. Alright, so he's thinking on what to do. He really can't do much in this position. He can't attack, he can't... well, I'm going to evolve my bench champ C into Blissey. I had to think for a second what I was saying there. I'm then going to play my third Darkness Energy onto Evansel so I can go for Y Cyclone and I move a bench energy where I don't really want to. What's the point of that? Um, so I'm going to play Shuren, I'm then going to play my Murkrow and Houndour onto the bench. Um, I'm going to then play Softboard Ability on my Bench Blissey, which allows me to flip a coin. If heads, I can deal heal 30 damage from my Ivansel. I flip a Tails, unfortunately, so no healing for me. And I'm actually going to end my turn, because, yeah, I don't want to end this battle too quickly. I'm going to give him a chance, because that's how I roll. I'm not a noob, I'm just giving him a fair chance. I've got an EX card on the field, it's really not fair. Oh boy, now everyone's probably going to write in the comments, Why did you end your turn without attacking? Uh. Alright, so I'm going to evolve my bench Murkrow into Honchkrow. I'm going to let the evolution um, sequence go through because why not? Alright, so now I'm going to play my Silent Support card and draw three energy cards from my deck into my hand. So I'm going to get three Darkness Energies, two, three, and then I'm going to play one on my Honchkrow. And I'm going to flip again for Soft Boiled. Hopefully I get a heads and just heal off my damage on the Bartle, even though it's probably going to make a huge difference. Again, another Tails. Go figure! I'm just going to end my turn again. I'm going to give him like three free turns and now I'm just going to start attacking. Alright, so it's his turn. I had a bit of a lag for a second. I was going to say the whole thing's frozen. Alright, so it's his turn. He just drew his card. So whether or not he can play a card is going to be questionable again. He can't make a move for Snivy thanks to having no grass energy. No move again! Wow! Alright, so I'm going to play another energy card onto my Honchkrow. Um, I'm not going to play S Silent, I don't really want to. Um, I'll try again for Soft World. It's like almost playing the card Final Countdown in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's like counting down towards their demise. I'm freaking hell, I can't get it. Oh, I got a head, sweet. Oh no, I didn't get a head. What the hell, I thought I flipped the heads. Oh boy. Alright. This is my last free turn I'm giving him, and the next turn I'll start attacking. I only felt bad for him. Alright, so he's just put a grass energy onto his snivy, so he can go straight for cut, dealing 20 damage to my Ivantal. He is going to get hurt by Rocky Helmet, unfortunately for him, and deal 20 damage to his snivy, so he's got 40 health remaining on his snivy. I drew a Pokeball, so let's play that Pokeball. And I got a heads, yes, but I can't flip a heads on softball. That really does not make any sense. So guess what, I'm going to be a bitch and put my Evangel EX into my hand, play that onto my bench, and I'm then going to play my Final Energy card onto Honchkrow, I am then going to follow it up with, what am I going to play? Soft Boiled, I definitely know that. So let's go for Soft Boiled, flip ahead, watch me flip the tails. Oh, I actually flipped ahead, my god, my luck just suddenly turned upside down, I guess Palmer really does kick in. Alright, so from there I'm going to play N just to reshuffle my hand. Alright, so I got Houndoom, which I will evolve. 
I'll let that go through. Just showing us on the new animation for like the new update, which is pretty cool. I can play another Murkrow if I want, but I don't particularly want to. And I did say this was like the last turn I'd give him for free, so I'm going to go for Evil Ball. Deal 120 damage to that Snivy and just take it out as Overkill. I drew a potion from my prize pool. It's now his turn. I gave him plenty of free turns to try and build up his bench. He's going to evolve his Yamba into Yan Mega. So I've only got three energy cards, which is probably going to steal about 80 damage, I think it is. I think it's 10 for each energy card. No, it's 20, so... I don't think Yan Mega will live. He's got agility up, so if he can flip ahead, he's going to avoid damage. Yep. So he's going to go for agility, do 30 damage to my advance. Well, he does flip ahead, so he can avoid my damage. <clears throat> so I'm going to go straight for softboard and heal up my Ivantal, hopefully with a head. Let's go heads, let's go freaking hell! So that's no matter, I've got a potion I can use, I'm just gonna heal 30 damage to Ivantal thanks to potion, and then follow it up with a Sharon card, I'm gonna draw a sand dial, put it on my bench, and then put a darkness energy onto my bench Ivantal because I can, and go for evil ball, I do well, I dealt zero because of agility. I really forgot about that. Alrighty, so he drew a card. And from there, he's going to play a Bianca. So he's going to draw into, he's got six cards in his hand. He's, so he drew two cards. Evolves his bench, Phoebus, into a Molotic. And due to this lackluster amount of energy cards, that really doesn't mean anything. The only thing he can really do is, if he's got any cards, play any from his hand. Otherwise, go straight for the agility on his Yan Mega, flip a tails, and let my Ivantal kill it. And by the way, that double colorless energy there does count for a single energy card. There, oh, freaking hell. Alright, so I'm going to play an energy, or oh, Rocky Helmet on Hunchcrow, because I can. Then evolve my Bench Sandal into Crooker Rock. There's a lot of evolutions going on here. Maybe I shouldn't have given him those free turns. Anyways, let's go for a softball flip there. Try and heal 30 damage on Ivantal. This Blissey hasn't been any help this turn. It's only done one heal. As you can tell, my coin flipping absolutely reeks. Oh, well, that's a good draw, isn't it? And play an energy card on my Ivantal and, well... No point, really. I could have ended or just attacked. Wouldn't have mattered. Dealt zero anyway. Alrighty, so he's making kind of a quick turnaround. The only problem is he can't do anything massive. He needs another energy card on his young Mega, which he doesn't seem to have. I'm starting to... Well, he finally flipped the tails, thank God. He does get hurt by Rocky Helmet. The reason why he wasn't getting hurt in the previous turns was thanks to Agility, which does bypass any effects, which is goddamn annoying. I drew a darkness energy, I'm gonna place that onto my bench Ivantal. Play my Blissey. Come on, Blissey, we need a heads. Come on, heads, 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 heads. If there is a card game god, yes there is! I need to start praying to him more often, I think. So 30 damage off my Ivantal EX card, and then I'm gonna go straight for the Evil Ball, and we're gonna take that over 120 damage. Bye bye, Yarn Mega. It was nice knowing you, you were a pain in the rear side. So I drew a silent card from my prize. And it is, of course, GG. So he's going to evolve his bench Volpix into a Ninetales, which isn't exactly going to matter too much, I don't think, unless he can play some energy cards. He needs an energy card to play at least Clear Search. Clear Search would turn this battle around because he can just search for... Why did I just switch? Oh, because of Ninetales' ability. <clears throat> well, that was annoying. That's alright. He's gonna play double colorless energy. That he, as I said, he needs a water energy onto his Molotic. Clear search would have been very viable in this situation. He could have searched for three basic energy cards and put them into his hand, then utilize them a bit later. I drew a potion, so I'm gonna use that on my bench now. Bench Devantel. He'll thirty from there. Put a darkness energy card onto my Crooker Rock on the field. I can't do anything, unfortunately. Thank you for switching out my Avantal. Then again, that could help me. I can use Dark Patch if he knocks out my Cooker Rock. 
Alrighty, so I can go for his best move, which is Water Pulse, and put my Quicker Rock to sleep at the same time. My weakness is fighting. That's alright. I have 90, so it's a two hit KO from Water Pulse. It really doesn't matter if Crocorock goes down, I can just bring out your Vardal and finish it off with my um, Dark Ball, or Evil Ball, sorry. He's going to play Tool Scrapper and remove that Dark... Well, <coughs> sorry, remove Rocky Helmet. Why do you remove the Rocky Helmet from my other Pokemon? I do not know why. Actually, I forgot, I won't have a weakness, thanks to um, Shadow Circle. I am asleep now, so I need to flip ahead, which I don't do, of course, but as I said, it's not threatening me at all. Um, I don't really need anything, so I don't need Pokeball. Um, play that there, because I need as many energy cards on this thing before it goes down. I'll play Blissey just for the hell of it. Alright, time to flip a coin, and I'm flipping like absolutely no freaking heads at all this battle, which is not helping. Oh, there's another tail, so I'm still asleep, that doesn't really matter. And as I said, I don't have absolutely zero care if he takes out my Crooker Rock. I've got two Evantals, which can finish this game pretty easily. So there goes my Crooker Rock, thanks to Water Pulse. And I already was asleep, so it didn't really matter. I was going to go for a perfect game, but what's the fun in that? So I get to try, I put a prize from his side of the field, I'm going to play my Ivan tool, and then I'm going to play Dark Patch, <coughs> and draw Darkness Energy from my Scar Pile, and put that onto that Ivan tool. I forgot it only works on Bench Pokemon. Um, play a Silent Energy card from my, or sorry, a Support card from my hand, draw three Darkness Energies from my deck. And guess what? I'm gonna be a bitch now. Put it in my active Avantal, play Evil Ball, do 160 damage to Malatik, take that out with ease, draw a prize, which is pri uh, Pokeball. He's gonna put his bench nine towers as the active Pokemon. Uh, this thing can go for the Hex Flame. It needs a special condition, though, to be able to do anything. Alright, so you can play Giant Cape, raise his Nine Tails health by an extra 20, bring it to 110. He's then gonna go for Hex Flame, which is only gonna deal 20. It's extra 50 if um, the Barn Tool had a um, special condition on it, which it doesn't. And play another Darkness Edge onto my Barn Tool. Flip for a Soft Boiled, because I can. This is the last move of the match, so. Uh, whoa, go figure, I finally flip a heads. He'll 30 on Ivantal there, and as I said, this really is GG, so what the heck, spam Pokeball. And of course, Tails. Let's play the other one, see if I got a Tails. Ah, I got a Heads. I don't even know what to play. Oh, well, oh, Crooker Rock's dead, so it really doesn't matter. I'll just play Crooker Dogs to show that I had it. Oh boy, so we're just gonna go for Evil Ball, do 160 damage, and that is game. So a little bit of mucking around there in the middle, kind of just to extend the match a little bit. I was a bit interested to see how this um, game went. So yes, the reward for that one was only 10 trainer tokens. Yay! Turns taken was 13. Most valuable player was a Vansal, of course. And yes, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that battle. And excuse me for mucking around a little bit in the middle there. I just wanted to drag the battle out a little bit. Otherwise it would be quite boring. So yes, um... Yes, that's my darkness deck. Um, hope you like the improvements to it. I did add an EX card to it. I just felt it needed an EX card because my other decks have EX cards. It just felt a little bit out. So yes, um, until the next episode, um, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!